Namaste YouTube, welcome to Beto Eats. Today I am trying my light kofta for the very first time. Thank you for everybody that voted. And make sure you stick around to the very end. I have a surprise for you. I am trying something that is related to holy. So stay tuned. But until then, chalo. Let's go. And I'm finally home. Whew, all this dancing has me really hungry. I actually ended up going to a restaurant called Mehak of India. It is in San Jose, California in the United States. And I definitely have to say that this restaurant has great customer service because when I walked in, I felt so at home. The cash register lady was so nice. She suggested items for me in the menu. So I definitely have to say thank you for amazing customer service. So for the food, I ended up spending about 23 US dollars, which is about this much in rupees. I already know a lot of you are going to be commenting down below like, wow, that's way too expensive. I'm super hungry, so let's go ahead and put this food in some plates so you can all see what I got. Let's do some food magic. Are you ready? Listos? Uno, dos, tres. Just like magic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so let me give you a rundown of what we have right here. First of all, look at the Malai Kofta. Oh, it's so nice. It reminds me a lot of like a butter chicken. It has that color. Oh, it's smelling really delicious. I asked the cashier at the restaurant, hey, what goes well with Malai Kofta? And she mentioned, oh, either naan or some rice. And you know what I told her because I'm Beto Eats? I told her, give me an order of both. So you already know, I'm probably gonna be in a food coma after this, just wait and you'll see. And one thing that the cashier also asked me, she mentioned, how spicy do I want the Malai Kofta? Whenever they ask something like this, I always tell them, make it as spicy as you can. From driving here, I could smell like a spice. You know when you can smell something very spicy? That's exactly what I was smelling. So I don't know what I got into, but I'm hoping I enjoy it. If it does burn and give me a little bit of pain, that's totally fine. I'm always down for a little bit of pain, but I'm super excited to just get started and try this. I did get some mango lassi just in case it does get a little bit too spicy. So we got this. This is like our fire extinguisher. But before I try this, I do ask if you can smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I post weekly videos and I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you who have smashed that like button and subscribed. All right, no more talking. We gotta try this. Let's do it. Oh yeah, so let's get into the naan first. Ooh. Let's get a good piece of naan right here. Ooh. And then we just gotta go directly to the malai kofta. It's like a meatball. It's a meatball of potato and paneer. Ooh. If, if you know me, if you know me personally, you know that my favorite vegetable is potatoes and man when you mix that with any type of cheese oh I already know this is gonna be a food gasm all right I got a good amount right here oh I'm so ready for this oh, let's do this cheers everybody That brings such a smile to my face. Oh, it's so delicious. And I love how they did add a lot of spiciness to it. Just how I like it. Oh yeah, it, that's so comforting. 
Oh, I gotta go again. But this time, let me also grab some rice while I do this. All right, get some of this. Also, maybe some rice in here, you know? Get some of this rice going. Get some of that gravy. Very thick gravy, very good, very delicious. This is comfort food. Oh man, this is something that I would say it is a little bit on the heavier side, but man, if you've had a good week, you know, you've been on your diet or you've accomplished the goal, whatever it is, you totally deserve something as comforting as this. This is like a warm hug from your favorite person, your girlfriend, your mom, whoever your favorite celebrity is, this is this is what that compares to. So I definitely recommend, if you haven't tried Malai Kofta, you definitely have to try this at least once in your life. Mm. This honestly just keeps getting better and better every time I just take another bite. Oh man. Mehak of India, you've made such an amazing dish right here. I will definitely be going back. Make sure you check them out if you're in San Jose, in California, in the United States. I'll definitely post a link in the description. So if you're around this area, maybe you could go give them a try. I will definitely be going back for this dish. I'm actually handling the spiciness really well right now. I haven't even tried the mango lassi yet. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm impressed. You know if you're licking your fingers, it's totally delicious. I do have one question for you. Would this be considered a South Indian dish or a North Indian dish? Comment down below if you know the answer. So I got two more of the Malai Kofta and this is the very first time I'm drinking the Mango Lassi which I'm super impressed because normally I would just finish this right away since it's so spicy. And yes, it, it is pretty spicy, but today for some reason I can handle it, which is awesome. Mom, if you're watching, I know you'll be proud of me. If you enjoy spicy food, make sure you smash that like button below as well. Oh man. <laughs> I definitely ate too much. Oh. But do I regret it? Not at all. I do not regret it. This Malai Kofta was so delicious. Oh man. I'm probably not gonna eat till tomorrow around noon. Oh because it was so good because I'm so full and I still have some leftover rice so maybe I'll eat that tomorrow for those of you who have watched till this moment I have a surprise for you like I mentioned I do know that holy is going on and I wanted to try something that was very traditional and something that's eaten during this time and that is why I called up my friend Manisha and asked her hey Manisha what do you eat during holy that's very traditional and she was like Gujiya and of course I'm like what in the world is Gujiya and she's like come on over to my house and that's exactly what I did roll the clip Hey everybody, we're here at Manisha's apartment and look what she has for us. Ooh, those look delicious. So Manisha, can you talk a little bit about what this is? Okay, this is Gujia. It is a traditional sweet which is prepared during Holi. And it is made out of, uh, this is a pastry shell outside and the filling is sweet. Made out of coconut, semolina, some mawa, uh, sugar and a lot of dry fruits. Okay. So very traditional holy dessert. Awesome and Manisha is kind enough to give us these delicious treats so we'll have them in the video in about five to ten seconds. Alrighty, thank you so much Manisha. We really appreciate it. And here is the Gucci, yeah. Thank you so much Manisha and Sumit for inviting me to your home. Thank you so much for the chai and a great talk. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, it's time to try Gujiya for the very first time. So this is considered like a sweet. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Mexican empanada. Empanadas in Mexico are made either sweet or savory, but apparently this one is on the sweet side since it is a holy sweet. And this is definitely the perfect time to eat this because I just had some pretty spicy Malai Kofta. And by the way, Manisha made these by hand, which is pretty amazing. If I tried to make something like this, even make it look like it's kind of braided right here, make it look like nice and pretty, 
Ah, it would not look cool like this. All right, I'm ready to try it. It looks crispy. It looks a little crunchy. Oh, it's kind of golden brown. Oh, I definitely have to try it. Here we go. Happy holy, everybody. Oh man, it's flaky. It's a little crunchy on the outside. On the inside, I was actually expecting there to be some type of like jam, kind of like a gooey substance, but no, this is more of like a, a little drier inside. And Manisha did tell me that the inside is made out of coconut and some nuts and some other things. Overall, Gujiya, whew. I definitely understand why this is a tradition for Holi. It's very sweet, it's very good. It's probably not the healthiest thing, but man, every once in a while having something like this, if you have a sweet tooth, this is the way to go. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Beto Eats. I post one new video per week every Thursday, so make sure you stay tuned. Turn on those notifications so you get notified whenever I post my video. But until next time, this has been Beto Eats, and thank you so much for watching. Adios.